My name is Takashi Kamei. I'm coming from, uh, of course, Japan. And I would like to say uh, thank you to all for helping uh, the Japanese people. Uh, we are uh, the, uh, severely damaged by the huge earthquake. Not only the earthquake, but also the Fukushima Daiichi uh, nuclear power plant accident. But uh, we are now uh, strongly uh, acting in order to uh, recover from that, uh, such a huge disaster. Okay, uh, I'm coming to this conference in order to uh, share the uh, recent activity in Japan on sodium molten salt reactors. Uh, after the Fukushima Daiichi uh, accident, people become to uh, fear the nuclear power, but also uh, people become to seek a safer nuclear power plant. Of course, um, sodium molten salt reactors uh, satisfies these requirements. And uh, I myself have been developed uh, sodium molten salt reactors uh, for these uh, five years. And recently, we have uh, developed a very good conceptual design of transportable small mo uh, molten salt reactors. Of course, uh, the detailed design has to be updated um, within uh, these few years, but uh, I'd like to uh, show you uh, in near future uh, what we are doing in developing the uh, small sodium molten salt reactors. In addition to that, uh, the problem of the sodium utilization is the lack of the fissile materials. Fissile is uh, something like to ignite the fertile material of the sodium. In order to prepare the fissile material, the useful uh, technology is to provide the neutron itself. The fusion will be available and the sporation will be available, but uh, we have developed a new, very um, efficient uh, accelerator, which is like that. That is uh, named uh, Mitri Use Accelerator, and uh, we are now fabricating a factory in uh, Fukushima Prefecture which is just a 35 kilometers from Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. So we'd like to bring a, a future hope in this region by providing the, uh, these accelerators. And uh, the factory will be available next year, and the first neutron will be available uh, in 2014. And this is also uh, helpful in order to promote the use of the sodium as a future fu uh, energy source. I'd like to say thank you again for all of the uh, people coming to this conference. Thank you very much. Okay, awesome. Uh, can I ask you a couple of questions too, or, or bounce some questions off you? Okay. Um, like, um, do, could you uh, paint, uh, like my, my question is, is kind of like, okay, so it looks like Japan's going to shut down all the, the mm -hmm. pressurized water reactors. Just right now. So mm -hmm. do you think in balance that that's a good idea or a bad idea? And if you don't want to answer, if you don't want to field questions, that's fine yeah, too. Yeah. I don't want to make you answer something you don't want to bother with. Um, but I'm like wondering, do you think that that's a good thing or a bad thing? Or what do you think the ultimate effect on Japan is going to be? I think but. So I think... Uh, well, do you, is a question, yeah, a camera sure. question? Only one question. Oh, no, I'll keep going until you want to leave. Ah, when yeah. you're done here, you let me know and you can leave. That's okay. fine. <laughs> I don't want to ruin your night with... Okay. No, no, that's fine. Okay. Um, can I answer? Yes. Okay. Uh, now, uh, Japan has uh, 50 uh, alive uh, nuclear power plants. But the, uh, because of the Fukushima Daiichi uh, nuclear power plant accident, uh, Japan has uh, shut down these all nuclear power plants. But uh, as far as I know, uh, these nuclear power plants uh, should be restarted again because uh, most of the reactors has been confirmed its uh, safety against uh, huge disasters such as earthquake and also the tsunami. And I was invited to a tube electric company, uh, which has the Hamaoka nuclear power plant. And uh, I was uh, invited there uh, this month, in the, uh, in the beginning of this month. And uh, they showed me the, uh, what they are acting in order to protect the attack of the huge tsunami. Uh, it will take uh, nearly the one year, but uh, after the, the complete of the construction of the tsunami protection, 
we should rethink about the uh, restart of these reactors. That will be very important for new Japanese uh, energy supply. Okay. So what is, um, what is energy needed for in Japan? I imagine industry and stuff like that. Like why is ener energy so important? And maybe could you paint me a picture of what Japan would be like if you guys had a bunch of thorium reactors brought online? Like where you could, what, what uh, how good Jap Japan could be mm -hmm. if you deployed a bunch of reactors? Excuse me, how, how, advanced? Well, uh, you would like to see thorium yeah. reactors to be developed, right? Uh -huh. So paint me a picture of what Japan could be like, how Japan could be better if you had this inexpensive supply of energy from the reactors. Oh. Like why it's important to do this. So that I can answer about the thorium molten salt reactors. Oh, you can, you can. Oh, okay. But I'm also, I'm trying to get you to paint a picture of why it's important to do this because why? here are the benefits. Okay. Yeah. Like paint, like kind of be a utopian about it, or what it's like to have like a lot of cheap energy. Okay, okay and go ahead. Okay, uh, I'm now developing a, a thorium molten salt reactor. I say that the existing nuclear power plants, like a, like a PWR and a BWR, are safe, but we should seek a much safer uh, nuclear power plant. And the molten salt reactor itself has a very good. Uh, characteristic of the uh, safety issues. And uh, Japan, unfortunately, the country of the earthquake and also tsunami, but uh, we cannot escape from the attack of these uh, natural disasters. But in, in that case, the safer nuclear power will be very, very important. In addition to that, the, the sodium molten salt reactor can become a very small reactor. So the, uh, not only the gigawatt class reactors, but the megawatt class reactors. One in one city, one in one town. So the, each uh, individual uh, local government can own the, uh, these uh, small reactors for themselves. And in addition to that, uh, the, from the view of the industrial side, uh, many companies can uh, come into the new business of the providing uh, small uh, sodium molten salt reactors. For uh, providing the large scale uh, light water reactor, of course a Toshiba or a Hitachi or a Mitsubishi heavy industry will be available, but not uh, available for the small companies. But the molten salt reactor itself is a very small and it does not use a, a high pressure vessel. So the, its fabrication is becomes much much easier. So uh, the coming of the sodium molten salt reactor means the opening uh, of the new nuclear power industry. Okay. okay. Thanks. Okay. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Or are you feeling good? Are you are you feeling done? Uh, I like to mention about the uh, effect of the cl uh, climate change as so. Okay. By using the sodium for the um, oh. nuclear fuel. Okay. okay, that would be good. Okay. Uh, recently, uh, people, uh, it seems that the people stop thinking about the global warming or climate change. But the, in reality, the climate, uh, climate change is still progressing. And uh, uh, nuclear power itself People seem that the nuclear power is uh, very, very uh, dangerous, but its advantage is that uh, nuclear power does not uh, emit the carbon dioxide, still have the good advantages for fighting against the uh, climate change. And uh, people will say that the only if we use uh, uranium fuel, we have the concern of the pro uh, production of the plutonium. But if we also use the thorium, it does not produce um, plutonium. So it means um, sodium utilization will be much better for the nuclear non-proliferation. And also, if we use a, a sodium, we can also incinerate or uh, burn out the plutonium. So that we should think, uh, use not only the uranium, but also uh, to use the sodium and uh, we can uh, greatly reduce uh, the emission of the carbon dioxide.